with the bass what we're going to be doing today on Tuesday we're going to do some, a few change of uh, directions and alterations I try to emphasize on uh, double times on music uh, on troll of music toda mi vida I think so that's the name for the song I want to check later what is the name and contradictory to Tuesday number 8 we are not doing any ochos today more or less yeah no ochos Very simple basic. So if so you observe, we have a lot of double times in different places. So, so let's break these in pieces. The first part you have two three and four. Let's go just to here. I want to change my position. You have a one, two, three and four. I want to change my position to another side. You can see for different direction. One, two, three and four. We go in this direction. You can see for different angle. One, two, three and as you see here, Anita has on her side step and a short side step or change of way, if you want to call it one, two, it's very short dynamic to this movement. As you see that, that I have my pique and then I walk with her into the forward step. So we do a change system by shift adding and an extra step. So let's take this for this or the angle, so you can see my pique. One, two, three, and four. I go inside in her forward cross, and she's going inside during my pique. And as you appreciate, her side step is not in a normal gigantic side step. You know, she's going to take, take me with her. So as you see, we are starting with normal uh, baldosa. I am going forward, side, and then back, but then things change. I kind of uh, start following the uh, Molinette backside forward pattern, but I am not going around him with my forward step. I'm pretty much uh, continuing in that line, wherever that line is going to take me, but I am not drastically changing direction, so my forward is here. And during these two steps, my side and forward, he has his pique to slow himself down, and then he has a longer step. So that's what changes the system. So as you did observe, Anita was showing to you how she going the long on the line with her format of the Molinete taken in this direction and not around the partner. Yeah, meaning we could and we working before and down. One, two, three, four, five, right? It's the same movement, right? But when instead to do that, instead to do this, this, and here, to start any format, I take the movement there. Let's explore what make it a change of that direction there. On my right side, I maintain my chest in this direction, my right arm at the end of this movement. So I take the movement in that direction, but I am not open my chest in that direction. I just, I, with my axis, I tell her to go there. I never change this angle. So that takes me for the next movement with her. If I open as a normal turning, She's gonna come in here. 
because I opened the window or the door for this hint on my body. And then I have a one, two, three, and as I send her there, right? This is my picker, and I go with her forward. Again, I change this angle so you can see it from here. One, two, three. I maintain the position and I send her foot. I send the movement and I make her walk there. She walk into my left leg. Yeah, from here you can take it just a normal also and take an exit. But you can practice this few times to get used to, to this lead because it's not easier. It's a very complex lead. What you need to accomplish here is how you lead her to the side. So see you have a one, two, three. You lead her there, as I said. So I'm gonna fall, I use this leg for support, and I use the picker for support. One, two, three, I lead her, and then I open to go. I mean, but I am not unwind my body. If you unwind your body, she's gonna fall in this, in this space. If you do this, she's gonna fall here. So you do not open your chest. You face it to her. It's an inclination. My body goes there. Now she's going because I open more. She's coming for a forward ocho, and this capable of doing alteration in a few seconds. And and why are we saying that this is more difficult? Because obviously it's always easier to do yourself than ask somebody to do it. And in this case you are asking your follower to take that extra step so the system change and therefore you have to hold yourself not to uh, follow her right Me, even though you are you are leading her two steps in one line you have to kind of sustain your body not to fall in this direction so we took a look again for this angle so we take the baldosa one two three and four. So I go with her and the four. Yeah, let's take it again. Let's look at it for the back. One, two, three, and four. Let's take it now the alteration part. She already practiced this a lot. We need to take it now the alteration part. So you have it. One, two. Three and four. So when I'm here, usually you're gonna open my chest long before that, so she can take it as So I keep my chest in the same position and I go back with my right leg backward. So we do an alteration. So we modify the change of direction from the left to the right. And then we use a forward ocho here, or two forward close, to take the uh, change of direction again, normal change of direction to the other side. Yeah. And then we're going to take in the next side step of her, it's going to be the back saka. But before that, let's talk about this alteration magic, right? So, uh, it's lesson number eight, but we are avoiding ochos. We're only putting them where necessary. So, normally, as Hernan said, the change of direction happens by uh, completely reversing the movement. So, we can change direction by taking forward ocho one way, and forward cross the other way, right? And or we can go back cross one way and then back cross the other way. But in this case, he led me forward and then no sidestep, no next forward cross. He's reversing by asking me to, to take a back cross and then side forward. So again, three steps, yeah? I went three steps and three steps. Yeah, in the short word, meaning what means alterations, yeah? It's alterations and modifications of the change of direction of your movement. So normally, you will have any turn, any hero going to the left, and she has, of course, those four movement. Forward, side, back, and again, side again, the same side. 
and say if we go into the other direction, we change the direction of the train. So forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side, and over here we can change the direction again to the other side. So that is a normal change of directions of the movement. If you go into the hero, to this direction, just so turn to the left. If I do a normal change of direction, yeah, it's just a change of direction. I mean, forward and forward is a change of direction. And as Anita was mentioning just right before, when you have any change of direction, for example, in this case, back to back, it's another change of direction. We continue to the right now. But so the turn change. So now, if we alterate this and start to use forward and forward, we using forward and back to change the direction, that is an alteration. So say, let's take, for example, one example as a do the hero to this case to my left. Forward, back, back. Side, and we change the direction by the alteration. Forward, back, side, forward, side, back. Right? So again, so we're going to take this as a simple exercise to we practice the alteration. So we start the baldosa normal, one, two, and we start the hero to the left from the forward cross of her. Forward, side, back, side, forward, back, side, forward, side, back. We show you the exercise for different direction. So you can appreciate the alteration. So now we change the direction with the alteration. Remember that. So we have Aldosa. One, two. So we start. One, two, three, four, one. And then change the direction to the other side. Back, side. Forward, side, back. And again, we go in different positions so you can see it. One, two. We change the system to one cross system. Forward, side, back, side, forward, back, side, forward, side, back. Again, forward, side, together, right? So we have tal de baldosa. Now we go to the to the to the hero to the left and we do the alteration. One, two, three, four, forward, back, side, forward, side, back. So you can practice this uh, many times as an exercise. It's the easy way to to be understanding uh, easily what the, the the change of direction with the alteration is or what alteration is. Because of, to learn just the pattern alone in that moment will help you for today. But in any other moment appear again in another combination, you will ask him again the same question. And it's good to you practicing all the time very much this way. Hero to the left, hero to the right, alteration. In this case, we're showing the alteration on the forward cross to the back. It's also happened from the back to the front. That's in the next lesson. Yeah. <laughs> one, one, uh, one interesting thing that is happening here is that, you know, for example, in that specific exercise in the uh, hero, in the Molinetta, yeah, I'm, I'm traveling around him. Now, when the direction changes through the alteration, there is a change of line. So if I was going forward my last step on specific line, I am not necessarily coming backwards with the back cross uh, d uh, um, along the same line. Uh, depending on where he, where the leader is placing himself, my uh, reference point changes. So in this case, my back step has a little bit of additional uh, angle. Yeah? So I came forward one way and then I went backwards at the slightly different angle and uh, that's also kind of same thing happening in in our combination for today let's try it the exercise we did let's put it together on the combination so we have uh, the one two 
three and four alteration now, yeah? Back, side, forward. That's what she has, right? One, two, three, and four, right? Now, when we go with alteration back, I accompany her just for two steps, and the next step I accompany with my upper body in the same direction that we used before. One and two. Okay, let's focus in a little bit on the change of system that we do. So we're using the same reference that we used in the beginning of the step. We're using again to change the system to go to the back saccade. Okay, that's what everybody waiting for. Signature step. <laughs> for the whole world. <laughs> so we're going. We have it. One, two. We have it. Three and She's going alone, right, in this step. I mean, not alone, I lead her to there. Four, I walk with her. So say here we have alteration. We have a one and she's doing two steps and one of mine. And I go again with her and the next one and the back. Again, I go with my left to receive her right leg. We pivot in and we take a just normal walk from here. So we can uh, find just this moment of the change. So, so we have a one and two, three and four. Forward, forward, side, pitch. Let's try for different position. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight, one, one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, one, two. And by the way, this is beautiful exit. You should practice that not only as an exercise, but to use. It's, a, it's an amazing exit and uh, takes you out of problems and out of trouble sometimes. Yeah, use very much the whole patterns that you're going to be using. Remember, you can split it in different way that you want, any form that you want to do. You can use just this exercise or this exercise or this format of the pattern to use it for dancing. Uh, you can use a different format of the part that we used before, that we used in the beginning, then we stop and go back again, rewind the movements, always, always explore with the movements and, and, and make it useful. One, two, three, and four. Five and six, seven, eight, one, two. And then let's go now to the back sacadas. The back sacada is one of the difficult uh, steps to do. A lot of people say now it's very easy. Eh, take a take a time to, to learn and to do it. The rear sacada. Back sacada. So at the moment we have it. one, two, three and four, five and six. So now, over here I'm walking away from her and it's coming the saccade to go around her. Let's go again with the combination to where it's going until now and then we do the exercise. One, two, three and four, five and six. Seven, eight, and one. Uh, into here. The exercise will be to walk one behind the other in parallel system. That means the two legs outside and the two legs inside. And now we pass it for the camera. You see how I am in front of her, and she's more behind me. I'm gonna walk a little bit more, so you can see the action. So this is very much the preparation for your back saccade. Sounds very simple. It's the easy way to, you can understand it by the opening of the embrace. So, so what we are here, and we walking with each other, we're working together. In one moment, I'm gonna walk, and I'm gonna start to open like a normal, like a normal introduction for the embrace to bring your hand in front of me to walk, right? 
So this exercise, the main idea will be to start to use the theory to invite the person to walk with us and to be part of the embrace. The leader underneath the arm, the follower from the back. While we're walking, we can propose our follower to be with us and to take the walk to continue. At the same time, we can take this movement into the other side. And in this case, it can be me going in front of my follower. Or it can be me open to the other side. So this exercise very much is used for embracing or for hug, to know when the person is in front of you, so you can take the walk. At the same time, this exercise it can be used too for the back saccade. The difference is, and it's still to be very ni nice close to her, very well close to her, I'm gonna be a little bit more in ahead of her. So, so when I'm here in ahead of her. Yeah. So, so you know how we always tell you a follower first, leader second. This is sort of like a Americana position, but he's going first, yeah, he's He's trying to be ahead of me. This time is allowed. Let's say when I take my movement in front of her, I start to do the same invitation, but the only thing is I let my body go in that direction. Yeah? So in this position, I invite her to go to me, but I go in that direction to put my foot in back, in that back saccade, the back step. So I do the side step again forward and then we find the resolution in a little bit now look the the angle here for the back saccada for the leader is not an extreme angle so you can totally do it you just have to like you know really carefully watch what Hernan is doing and explaining uh, with the torsion of his body that leads uh, me leads me as a follower to that sidestep uh, kind of slightly towards him but also turn his body so his leg is in a correct position. However, he does, uh, you know, he does uh, do a little collection of the leg or a little pull in uh, before he does the back saccada. If he just keeps his leg extended, he will hit me from the outer uh, side, from the outside. Let me give you a quick advice. So we take the movement as we were uh, exploring the exercise. I am in front, she is behind. When I bring the movement in that direction, my body is coming in from this point into my center and going to the back. As we say, in this exercise, she is in the back, I'm more in front. That creates an angle for you. And the moment you take the walk and you propose her because first I go and I try to go away. And the more I go away, the more behind she's gonna be if I respect the same tempo. And in one moment if I continue doing this, I wanna end on the other side of her. Fine? So to those walk happens, I have to pass through to my axis and to my center permanently. So say I go away and I propose her to go. I feel the taking me because I don't disconnect for, from her right now. So say my foot got into the center and it's like right behind to my elbow very much, to where my elbow is. From there I pass through to the other side, opens, and I go outside partner and the other side of uh, on my partner, I mean outside partner left side. So I take uh, forward steps. If I go even, so you can see here. If I go even here, one side to the other, very very even. You can see the both body. It's very difficult for me to do sakara. I'm gonna just hit her it's badly. So say, you have to take your step and ahead of her. That way, when you are walking, 
yeah? You need to get into your access and go back in the line that she's going. So now, with your torsion, we're gonna take a little bit more, a little bit more diagonal. We're gonna take a little bit more diagonal. So you can see how Anita start to go into the molinete. Right. So in this moment, because of my embrace proposed that, she start to go there very much. If she continues, she's gonna continue with the back side and going back to the forward again. So we have it. Back, she has to start to go into her molinete. And now, if I stay in this side of her, she's gonna go into her molinete, but we don't go into that. We take it, the outside panel left, and we change the modification to the other side. The other way to you can practice to your experience what Anita was mentioning before, basing of where my foot are. If I walk in with her very much in, in here, if we work in from this position and we have a, this movement, yeah, and I ask it to Anita to go to the side step, that's very much the saccade. So, so, so I can have a success on this movement, I have to get totally to my axis, meaning if I walk in, in front of her and we both working. We, I work with my right, she work with her left, you will not see her by now. But if she go to the side, you see her, and that's my space to walk through. Yeah? You see her, and that's the space to walk through. And as you experience it, you can see how you don't see her when you see her, and I can walk now and transfer my way there, and that very much will give a car. We try to emphasize that a lot because the, the typical happen, as, as we mentioned before, is the, the leader go with the foot open. Because you're so, e you're so eager to do it. <laughs> <laughs> and you want to go with the foot like a You worry about the saccada itself, but actually the whole trick is in a step before, as usual, in a preparation. Yeah? We have to set up the movement correctly so then it can happen. So, so let's try it. One time we're gonna take a baldosa one six. We take a one six, we pivoting, and we're gonna take this hands off for a second to do part of the exercise. So right now she's behind me. As I take a step forward and back. So I see I coming from this point to that point, from my feet together to the back. Change to the other side and we feel it. So say, let's try again. That exercise, let's change maybe the angle from here. So, so we have it. One, six, and we're going forward. When I'm going forward, you see right now we separate the hands. If my hands is away, I need the hands is on the other side. So, so when I go forward, there, there. Then give the hands again. Again, this is an exercise. Eh? We're not gonna dance that way, just in case. We're not gonna take it this hands off. It's not like it's wrong neither, but so say one six. She's more behind. Now we're gonna talk about that six step because it's shorter than her. My six step is shorter than her. Longer and there. Again, while we're doing one six, one. If I do six long, I will still be in front of her. Right? Because we need to have the six short so she can pass. One, six, because she's behind me now. So when I take it, you see that the camera, she's behind me, more in front. So when I take the moment forward, I walk even longer so I can get into the space. All right, let's put it all together into this point we showed in the beginning, we got into that beginning of the next phase for you. So you have it one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight, and one. Yeah? Again. One, two, three, and four, five and six, 
7, 8, and 1. So as you see guys, you not only have the saccada, you have additional <laughs> double time step there to uh, go to the next uh, receiving of her back uh, cross on the other side. Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> so now you have the new part. So we end it on the back saccada, we practice until now. So we have it. One, two, three, and four. Five and six, seven, eight. Because in this moment, the next step for me now is my turn to change the system. She changed it twice by adding two extra steps to get here into the into the two change of system. She went into cross system, she go to parallel system. Now that we are in parallel, I'm gonna do an extra step with my right leg to go into cross system and the other side of my partner. This step for me, que the one the side step, is very important because it's circular around her to change my next position to go to walk. So let's explore just that moment, that specific time. So say one, six that you practiced before, same exercise, so you go forward where you display here, in this moment, open and circular around. Let's explore again the same part that we did before. Before we put our brain, set up, back sacada, back sacada, back sacada, right? Now, the same exercise, you're going to put double time, double time, side step, because the back sacada is ready. One, six, and in front of her, she's behind. We already explored the back sacada, so we're going to keep it, our hands now. So with that the back sacada, the next step, que es my right leg, is going around her axis. So we come out from this position into this position. So I move in circular format. And in so fact, you're doing sort of a molinete too. Back step was a back sacada, then side mm -hmm. for the change of system, and then now it's going to be forward for you. Exactly. That's what I want to show you and to say what's going on to the step of the leaf. So say here, for you leaders, as we always ask you to the follower to practice in her molinete, now you have to practice your molinete too. So say you have it three steps. And those three steps are circular. I put this so you can see more the directions. I'm going to be a little bit more closer to you. Back step, and this is the sacada. So my back step and sacada is not flat in line. It has a curve. And that curve brings my foot around and that circularity to shift my way. And my leg is going in circle again. Very much as you see it, normally we're gonna do back, side, forward, side, right? In this case, because of the back saccade has a lot of curve because her body is going in that direction, we create more or less, not perfect, a triangle, one triangle. The back saccade, the side step, in the forward step. It is very much my forward step meet in the same place where it was my right leg before. Where it was my forward step or my leg, my, my started my back step before. So this is my right leg. It's around here. That's my back saccade. My next step is going very much in the same direction. Not away here. That is the reason what make me work in my partner's body very tight on her axis so I can sur surround her well, so I can later on take off with the next step and so on go forward. So say, a lot of rotation, we need to follow you follower 100% because the follower is, is taking the, uh, the action on her side step and her movement, the next one is a back uh, step, like to the molinete. So when I see that, that swing or that movement, the action, 
over there, that is what taking my chest in that direction, and I follow that with her. So you have it back around, and that taking you in the same position. That means, as Anita said before, we have to work our hips and do the molinete too. It's not just the girl doing molinete. We have to do molinete too at the same time. So see what we have. As we're going for the movement, as you see what am I right now, when I take the steps, I go very much into the same direction again. Yeah. Because I go into the same point. Let's say I was here, and now I'm going again over there. And then I take the next steps in line to take the new um, the base to the cross, the baldosa, and to the base to the cross to end the movement in a good resolution. So we take it as an exercise, one, six, forward, back, here, back side, so it says time and time. See, that's the difficult part right now. You have to do all the way we explained before in that sensation, that curving, that everything, in a double time. So let's try this, the same exercise for different angles. One, six, she's going, display, around. One, six, one, two, and back. One, six, remember, she's behind, you are front, walk away now. That's the double time of your music, again. One, six, forward, back, around. And from there you can start walking again to find the line of dancing. You got that? Okay, now the easy part is coming. Just walking around and doing some little crosses in the middle. We already did it like in one of those Tuesdays, so you already have it back and forth, right? I hope they did practice it. So, so let's put all together with a double time into here. One, two, three and four, five and six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and eight. Very easy. Back to the cross. In the end, double, double time. In the end. So, so let's take over for the last, the walk outside here, outside partner left. And where we change our position to go to the other side of our partner to go to the back to the cross. So, so we did have one six, now you have it. You did the, the sacada, you went around. Outside partner left. So right now I stay. Cross system. Here. Cross system, outside partner left, right? Ta ta. So now I walk into that back cross. I pivot in her, and the next one, I'm gonna take it more as a side. That will create a pivoting and change the angle of our, our bodies. So I'm gonna take it the last step very much as a side, so we can change our position, our angle position. So let's try that as an exercise. We're working outside partner left side. And so you want to walk in a line. Outside partner left and line. So say nothing happened to her, nothing happened to her hips. And the moment I take uh, this side step, her movement is coming to be in a back ocho. So she's pivoting, and immediately, magically, she changed to the other side of me. So then before we were here, outside partner, come, tuck, tuck, tuck. So over here, I take my side step as a side step, not as a forward open, side step. And from there, when I collect in with my torsion, she's pivoting. And now, where I am, outside partner right. Yeah, so let's take it from this position, so you can see it. Take it, maybe a little bit angle, 
Si se dan al side, en mi pole step, voy a tener que nice side step. Cuando she's pivoting, here. She's in the angle again. Let's take it now from this position. Entonces, si we go in this line, the next one, I take it a side step. Entonces, so now what happened? And in this side of her. So let's take this one again from this position. One, two, three, four. She's again in the other side of me. That's the easy way to you can practice it. What's going on in those steps? Let's, uh, let's show in the, a little bit more close to the feet, the angles. You see, when I'm walking here, I have that position. By the next walk, she's still in the same, because I cannot, I cannot take uh, this space that she has. So, so when I'm going to prepare myself, I prepare my pivoting, and as you observe, my foot move a little bit more out, like a normal, take a normal ocho. But I cannot move in her. So again, I walk in, in a line in front of her. And at one moment, I move a little bit myself, a little bit outside here. So I pivot in, and now my hip starts to reach in her. So when I'm stepping in the same line where I have toe is, my body is fitting in this direction, facing that direction. So when I see arriving, and pivoting, place me in the other side. If I didn't do that, and I go in just normal, I will still be outside partner left. Can I change myself, one side of the other, of her, by just walking? Yes, yes, we can do, you know that. We, we, we working in different parts of the programs, so you can change to the other side, we crossing to one side to the other, Closing her, you know all those actions. But specifically in this one, I use this. So she can be outside me. Base to the cross, forward, side, change. So the, the, as we're doing those steps, the system does not change. So then the basic to the cross, the exit that we're using for the exit, is basic to the cross in a cross system. Correct. So, so let's uh, let's explore let's explore the base completely. As you see there, they work again. <laughs> they change the system again, right? By crossing, yeah? So say before, we maintain the cross system. Now, by Anita crossing again, the follower crossing again, we change the system. So, say, so the follower three times has to work, and the leader only once. Oh, but you have a back saccada. We have a back saccada. <laughs> <laughs> That's a more difficult one. So say, we have it. Let's put everything in the double. So say, we have a one, two. Three and four, five and six, seven, eight and one, two, three, four, five, six and seven and eight. We don't have to explain that double time here. The only thing you need to know is that right after that double time is one more double time. That's it. We show that very quickly and then we put the music all from the beginning into the end. So the normal way to the cross in cross system, you go three, four, and five, six, seven, hold eight. This is very much what you're doing. Normally on the cross system you're doing this one, two, and three, four, and five, six, seven, hold eight. Normally you do this in base to the cross and cross system. You can do double time whenever you want in the, in, in, in the base to the cross, not just in that moment. 
In this case, to make it easier, we put it right there, which is good. But the bad news is, that right after that is a double time two. Because it's one, two, and three, four, and five, and six. So right now we have a more time to wait, but because the music will be prepared, it's coming different before, it's coming different from before, we end in starting later on the music with the bass. But they use the double timing. Time, 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 and time, and time. Time, 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 time. Time and time and time. Again. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, Three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. Uh, so we're working with uh, with this song. So we kind of show you the timing uh, that works with this song. But of course, if you're dancing to something else, you can slow down, take some elements out, or add some more, depending of what uh, the music is prompting you to do. Or oh, even in this song, if you hear the music differently than we do. Just enjoy it and then just do whatever you want to do with that, okay? Toda mi vida, Troilo. Cansado de buscar 